Hey there, welcome to another exclusive tutorial. In this video, we'll be creating this 3D scene using Cinema 4D and the standard renderer. The process is quite simple as we'll use techniques that make it much smoother. As you can see, the scene has a backdrop. I have added a cylinder which will be actually the, the surface on the bottom to have some more reflections and I have some cubes with a glass material and some letters inside. Additionally, I have added some lights and a camera. So let's create a new document. And I'm going, actually I'm going to change the, the render because I have the redshift. So this will be made with the standard render. And I'm going to create a backdrop. So I click and hold here. I click backdrop, we have it like that. I'm going to change some settings. So this could be 370. Then the height could be 60. Okay, let's go a bit closer. I also want to change the rounding a bit. I will make this something like that. Okay. Let's add a material. Ah, let, let's copy the material from the other document. So I click and drag the this blue background, blue green background. Then I would like to add a cylinder. So I will click and hold on the cube and I will select the cylinder. Let's make it very thin. We only need that for the, for the surface. I click here on the circle and make it larger. We don't really need to do anything else with the cylinder because we don't care about the, the edges. These will not be visible. But I will just add a, a material. I would add the ice material. So the ice and the glass material, they only have a small difference on the texture. The rest are quite the same. You can see it now because it's kind of transparent. I will add a render view window, actually a interactive render region. Okay, you can see a big difference now, but let's keep moving. Um, then I will add a cube. Let's reduce the size. Let's make these 10 by 10 by 10. Move it upwards. Okay. Um, I will add the glass material to it. And I also want to add to make the edges a bit smoother, not very hard. So I will add a subdivision surface. I move the cube under the subdivision surface. So as you can see now, it's kind of a sphere, but I'm going to change the, some settings here. So let's make the viewport four. Let's give that two and then we're going to increase that one. Yes, like this. So you can see the edges are not hard, kind of much smoother than before. Now I'm going to add the letter. So I'm going to the text tool. So I will select the text, not the text spline. I will change the text to the letter H. Let 
this is quite large so i will make it much smaller maybe like this i will reduce the depth to something like five i will also change the font i will choose the the sf compact rounded let's add the material to the letter as well let's see how we look on once rendered okay now we need to make the letter to be on the on the edge of the cube so i will move it let's increase the quality so it will render much faster and i will move it a bit to the front so i want this to be like this maybe let's make the letter a bit smaller so i will change the on the object i will change the size to something like 12 maybe yep Also, I'm going to rotate the, the letter slightly. So it will look like the half of the letter will be in the cube and half of it will be out of it. Okay, and we need to duplicate the cube and the letter. Let's move this below. No. Uh, here. I will duplicate this by pressing Command C or Control C on a, on a PC and command V and I have them all selected and I will move them higher and I will copy once more now I will need to differentiate each letter and the cube so I will change the rotation for each cube and letters so I will select the cube and I'm pressing R on the keyboard and yes by the way I will change the letter so I will make that one Y and that one E Okay, I think we're good so we need to add some lights now and the camera so I will choose a light from here and I will move it to be in a better position as long as the materials are made of glass I would like to add a lot of light so there will be many reflections so I will copy that, so command C and command V, change the position, again, I will also make one of the lights pink, so it will have some color on the reflections. Yeah, but uh, maybe the lights are too much now, so I will decrease the intensity of some of them to make the, the scene less bright. I will also add a camera. And I will lock it to be on this position so when i click this square here and you see this dot inside that means that the camera is active so whatever changes i will do on the angle uh, this will be transferred into the camera let's say that i want to have this angle on the camera now i can click again on the dot and now it has disappeared so 
and I can do whatever I want with the angle so this will not affect the camera. Once I click again, it will go back to the one I had before. Let's make some more changes on the lights. I will also add them on a, on a null object so they will be grouped. And the same with the letters. Now I'm going to render the scenes, so I'm going to edit the render settings. So I click and hold this icon here, render settings, and I can change the resolution, the size, the location where this will be saved. I can choose to have multipass, but this will slower the rendering. And I have added also ambient conclusion to have better lighting and shadows. And I also have the PNG file uh, as a format for exporting. And now I'm going to just click the middle button here and this will start the rendering process. Then it will take some time depending on the power of your computer. And that was it for today. I hope you liked this video and see you on the next one.